Have you ever wondered, how do nerds play? Have you ever wondered, what do engineers do when they go home? Do they just like go home and wear their pocket protectors and nerd out a little bit? Do they get involved in things? Are they fun people? Do they do cool things? Well, uh, I've heard a lot of people talking about, you know, software engineers and hardware engineers and stuff that they do in, in, in the realms and the circles that I move in and thought maybe I would actually make a channel and put some content up there and show the world, hey, this is what an engineer does. And these are the hobbies that we're involved in, at least some of them, and some of the things that we get excited about and the kind of things that we create, you know, when we get home from work, you know, the creation doesn't doesn't start stop there you know we come home and we make things when we're at home so what this channel is going to be all about is it's going to be bringing together all the passions that I've got all the things that get my blood moving that get me excited about building things and about doing things and I'm going to be telling stories that were formational when I was growing up and becoming an engineer and things that made me want to do what I actually do and the things that actually keep me into it these days and sometimes just the fun stuff that I get involved in on the side so there'll probably be a lot of Magic the Gathering content like this spot I'm sitting is my Magic the Gathering play card place in my home I'll do videos about radio control cars I'll do videos about playing guitar and and uh, working on cars and working on little custom do-it-yourself electronics projects and other things that have just been really formational and interesting and passionate for me so I'll do it in different sections of my home so you guys can kind of like see the environment that I'm in that inspires me because you know I'm a very visual person I'm a visual learner and I tend to believe that's one of the reasons YouTube exists is because a lot of you out there you guys are also really visual and seeing it and experiencing it is so much more than just hearing someone talk about it or just imagining what it could be so Thanks for uh, watching this video. Thanks for surfing on to my channel. And my main hope is that when you watch some of these videos, it's interesting. I hope that it's inspiring. If you're considering this kind of like life, you know, just being an engineer of some kind, and you wonder what it would be like, you know, I can't show the office environment, but I can show the home environment and I can talk about the office environment. And uh, for me, in my history. I spent 15 years as an engineer at Intel and I've now been at Hewlett Packard for one year and uh, I graduated from college a while ago with two degrees, one in electrical engineering and one in software engineering and you can get the diplomas over here on the wall and probably see it in some of the videos. And there's a lot of interesting things that have happened over the years. There's a lot of jobs I've done. I was a motherboard BIOS developer when you guys bought an Intel motherboard, if any of you did a while ago, and it was a high-end gaming Intel motherboard, you were using a lot of code that I wrote. In fact, I was a lead developer on some of those high-end gaming platforms, and that got me involved in uh, gaming like for Intel, not just you know gaming on the side. And uh, I used to go to PAX for representing Intel, and it was just a neat way to kind of combine the passions and. Right now at Hewlett Packard, I'm just writing BIOS code for servers. So uh, it's a, not, not as like the high end cool stuff as like all the gaming PCs and stuff like that, but it's still you know, BIOS engineering just the same. For a big chunk of time there also at Intel, I did a lot of R&D work on projects I can't really talk about, but uh, it was a mix of hardware and software and test design kind of stuff. I got to design a lot of stuff that was really cool. So I'll probably even have some videos talking about that. And uh, I dabble a little bit in economics and, and investing. And it's one of the things that got me attracted to some of the other Magic the Gathering investment people that make videos out there. Like, uh, you know, Vintage MTG with Daniel Chang and like Rudy with Alpha Investments. And, you know, I'm very like, I like watching these, these channels because I like seeing how all these things play together. And when they start talking stocks and stuff, I get all excited too. So anyways, that's what this channel will be about, and thanks everyone for stopping by, and I hope this is interesting, and uh, please give me a comment, give me some feedback, love it, hate it, whatever, I'd like to hear what you think. Bye everybody.